And the first pitch. Misses low. Teched. Got him swinging to end the inning. A one, two, three inning for Austin Gordon. First pitch. Fly ball, left field. Driving back to the fence, and it's going to be brought back in, was it? No! The ball is gone. It's a home run for Cooper Engel. Carson Horning, I think he thought he had the ball for a moment. But Cooper Engel delivers the solo shot, and it's 1 0 Clemson. Horning chased it all the way to the fence. I thought for a moment he had brought it in. This got over the top. Sanders, the one two pitch. Gets his first strike out of the night. Got Caden Grice swinging. Right, sent it to right field. It's in for a base hit. He makes the turn at first. On his way to second, he will come up with a stand up, one out double. 0 1 pitch. And he sends it down the third base line. They will send the runner for home. It is a double for Canarella, 2 nothing Tigers. I was a little surprised on that. Another fastball there after seeing that good breaking ball to get Grice out. And Tigers so far just have not been missing the fastball. Swing and a miss, and it's a strikeout to end the inning for Sanders. Swing and the second strikeout for Cassis as he goes down. The second strikeout for Gordon. Grounder, and this is going to go up the middle for a base hit. South Carolina gets their first hit of the night. Petri aboard with two down. Fly ball calling for it is right, but he's called off and they drop the ball. But now they got a rundown going. And Blackwell is able to make the tag. Frustrating way to end things for South Carolina. Teen Super Regionals, as well as a shot in 2021 in the Super in the Regionals. And Chad Ferry looks at the first pitch from Will Sanders, and he's aboard with the fourth hit of the night for the Tigers. Sanders pitch, chased after it. And that's a strikeout number three for Sanders. That's going to be a grounder that will be fielded, and it's going to wind up being called a foul. One two pitch. Strike three is called, but the ball gets away. Engel hustling the first to throw is high. Coming across the plate for the third run for the Tigers, and it's now 3 0. Ferry scores, and what a wild way for the Tigers to get a run across. The third strike. Perfect inside fastball. He wanted to frame it before he caught it, and it got by him. I mean, it went directly between his legs, and then he makes the throw to first, and it's way high over the head of Petri. And Ferry comes across, and it's now 3-0 Tigers. Runner going, pops it up. Stone will come in for it. Brings it in for the third out of the inning. The 1-1. Grounder right at Blackwell at short. And it is a one, two, three inning for Austin Gordon. Two and one. And that's going to be another base hit for Blake Wright, his second of the game. And the Tigers again. Canarella pops it up. Now some trouble for the left fielder coming in and then dropping the ball was Carson Horning. A head first slide by Wright. And the Tigers have runners at second and third. Grounder handled by the shortstop. They'll get the runner and they get a rundown going now. And they're able to get Canarella. But Wright comes across after making his way to third. The Tigers had a run. It's now 4 nothing. Struck him out looking. And that takes care of Clemson in the third. Denny with a grounder, and that's going to find its way for a base hit. That's a grounder that'll be handled by the third baseman. Right with a throw to Caden Grice. Strikes. Got him. 
Six strikeouts now for Sanders. And that will drop for a base hit. Seventh hit of the night for Clemson. Bertram on. This pitch was 94 miles an hour. Takes a cut, misses, a strikeout. Strikeout number seven for Will Sanders. 2-2 pitch. That hit him. 3-2 pitch, and that's going to be a base hit. Solidly in the left field, and the Gamecocks have their best rally of the night going. Horning is aboard. 2-2 pitch. Popped it up. Wright is calling for it in foul territory. Makes the adjustment. There's two down. Only the new pitcher. Snap throw down, and it gets by Grice. And this is going to let one run come to the plate, but now they're going to hold him up. So they did the snap throw from Ingle down to first base. It got by Grice, and both runners advance. Takes a swing and a miss, and a big strikeout in relief for Jackson Lindley. That's going to be off the glove of Wimmer, and it's going to go into left field. Runner going. The throw by Messina. Got him. Nice job by the Gamecocks there. Three balls and a strike. And it's a two-out walk to Blackwell. It's the first walk of the night for Sanders. Struck him out to get out of the inning. Straight down the middle, and it's a one, two, three inning. Pitch to Fer Ferry. Misses, drop strike. Messina will make the throw in time, and first out of the inning. And it was a triple. There's a fly ball. Deep right field. This is gone. Give him a triple, and now give him a home run. That's his first, and it's now 5-0 Clemson. Just calling Mr. Extra Bases on the season. And he hit that one into the wind. the welcome he's getting. Sanders comes with that high fastball and kaboom! He knows it from the get-go. Yep. From the get-go, even with some wind, he knew that was out. He's going to admire that. It's a quality of bat so far this season. That one's going to be a grounder that will be fielded by McGillis, and it's a inning in which the Tigers add to the lead. But he misses that time, and it's a leadoff walk for Cassis. Tigers hit a home run right into that last inning. And a base hit for the Gamecocks. And this now is another great opportunity for South Carolina, the Carolina, to try to get back in this game. And that's going to be a base hit into the gap. They will send the runner. Gamecocks are going to get their first run on the board. It's Cassis across, and it's 5-1. Great piece of hitting by Lee Croy. 2-2 to Horning. Called strike. Big strikeout for Lindley. Grounded. It's going to go for one. They'll try to make the turn. And Clemson turns the double play. They're trying to keep South Carolina in the game. Gets a big strikeout for Grice. That's his third of the night. First out of the inning. Here comes the pitch. Fouled it away, fouled it off Messina. 3-2 count, grounder, and it goes off the glove of Wimmer. And hustling and being aggressive is right, and he will get into second. 2-2. Two -two. Strikes him out. Got him. So the error does not cost South Carolina, and it's three strikeouts for Jersembe. Right there. Takes a cut and misses. Strikeout for Casey Talon, first out of the inning. Grounder. Difficult hop for Wright. He can't come up with it. Wimmer will reach. Grounder. It's going to be handled by Grice. He'll make the tag. Runner advances. But there's two out. 
Talents pitch. Popped it up. Calling for it is Engel. He brings it in. And nothing across for the Gamecocks in the eighth. 2-2. Two -two. Struck him out. For Crichton. Back in the sixth. Pops that one up. Coming for it is Horning. And it's a 1-2-3 inning for the Tigers. 3-2 from Talent. Walked him. Fly ball. Will Taylor, excuse me, actually, that's the new left fielder in for the Tigers. Nathan Hall came in. And there's a drive, and it's going to drop. And you can see Canarella slipped, bobbled the ball a little bit, and pretty good hustle there by Cassis as he gets all the way to third. Horning fly ball. Canarella calls for it. In the score will be Cassis, and to make it five to two, but it's also the second out of the inning. Brewer with a grounder. It's going to go for a base hit. It gets beyond the glove of Bertram. Brewer gets his first hit of the season, first hit in a South Carolina uniform, and it keeps the Gamecocks alive. Grounder. Grice has it. He will step, and that is the ball game. Game one of the Palmetto Series goes to the Clemson Tigers, 5-2. to two.